said when he met my mother that he was gonna make some Jackson Fives. I did, I sang with Donna Ross when I was nine years old. I got up on the stage and, and you know, I mean, she gave me a moment and I took full advantage of the moment. I did my best mashed potatoes, my best Michael Jackson impersonation. It was, it was amazing. Somebody told me you were wounded for me. Father, a husband, a brother, a son, a Christian. I'm your witness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Ooh, I'm on yeah. your own. You know, my mom and dad did drugs, and there were many mood swings with him. He would really jump on her and beat her up in front of, you know, the kids, me and my brothers and my sister. And he would accuse my mom of cheating on him all the time. So he instilled in me basically that women were objects. Grabs me, slams me into the wall, puts me under the faucet, like trying to, like, like he gonna drown me with the water and then he, he punches me in the jaw, and then pulls his pistol out and puts it to my face. Like, I mean, it was one of the most horrible things that ever happened to me. And actually one of the best things that ever happened to me because I think at that point he broke my spirit and I didn't want to be, I no longer wanted to be like him. I didn't want to be a thug. I didn't want to be none of that. I didn't want to be anything like him. In fact, I hated him for a long time for him doing that to me. I was living reckless, really didn't care. Uh, we were actually in the studio working and then they called us and said the next the next studio day was going to be canceled because the um, engineer's father got sick. And that same day my brother went and robbed the store and got himself killed. It's crazy too because I wasn't like religious or spiritual. I mean I guess I was a little spiritual. I always prayed but then I really just started praying like God please like please just let him be okay. Just let him be okay. That's what I'm saying in there. And then I just heard this this scream. I mean, this scream it was like it was like something I never heard before. And it was my mom, and she was she was screaming because she had just saw the picture of my brother in the morgue. And from that point on, like I didn't, you know, I didn't know if I believed in God no more at that point, like because I thought like I felt like He let me down. I felt like I felt like I was, you know, like my prayer wasn't answered. My journey started with him killing that dream. So basically when my brother died, my dream died with him. Killed my dream in the blink of an eye. Since my brother died at such a young age, I felt like I was gonna die at a young age. Like I didn't, like I said, it was really close to me and I didn't think I was gonna make it to be 25. So, you know, I was living like I was dead. And sex was what I was doing, basically what I was using to kill myself. Like I was, you know, in many different women. I mean, it was just reckless. I mean, really, really reckless. I mean, to the point to where I didn't even care about life. I mean, or even, you know, taking my life or even giving life or making a new life. I didn't even, it, I, didn't, I didn't think twice about it. And that's basically how I end up with four different women and five kids. This song is dedicated to everyone who needs to be delivered. Whether it be abuse, 
molestation, addiction. We can do it with Christ who strengthened us. Get delivered today. I know what you go through, I know it, I know it all, I know the end, the loss and the pain, the friends lost in the game, same life that you came from, but for every life that I touch, it's a lost life that we bring back, and we dying out here, so we need that, it's a better way that you gotta seek, Jack, talk to him like that. Hey, 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 hey. 